what's going on everybody as always it's a blessing to be here you're here with crypto e and if you guys are ready to eat in these crypto markets in these financial markets then subscribe to this channel with the bell notification so you can be notified every single time i drop information packed videos just like the one you're watching right now by that being said today's video will be on how sec is investigating binance over fraud on child companies sec cannot stop they're trying to get any millions any money they can on any crypto exchange before they put out regulations so we'll dig deep into this and you know try to figure out what's going on with the crypto exchange binance and what the sec is really trying to make out of this by that being said guys again if you guys are new subscribe to this channel share these videos with anyone that's interested in the financial markets because the whole reason i made this channel is so we can all grow financially we can financially thrive and financially be successful instead of just being financially stable so when you come to this channel the best thing i'm trying to provide you guys with is to just make you guys gain something make you guys gain something financially from watching these videos and understand how the markets move so you can make decision on your end at the end of the day i'm not a financial advisor i just present you guys with the truth and the facts you decide what you want to do you make the final call now let's get straight into this video after this beautiful intro 4x 4x everything gets 4x <laughs> So take a look at this binance.us faces this is a dot us by the way because they can't sue nothing else with unless it's in their unless it's in their jurisdiction faces sec probe over trading affiliation affiliates report the two affiliates have ties to binance founder chang ping zhao the wall street general reported let's scroll down and see what's going on the securities and exchange commission sec is investigating the relationship between us arm of cryptocurrency exchange binance and two firms owned by Binance founder Changpeng Zhao, the Wall Street Journal reported. The two firms, Sigma Chain AG and Merit Peak Limited, trade cryptocurrencies on Binance.us as market makers, or traders who continuously buy and sell to help ease price volatility. That's, that's the reason of market makers. Profiting from the small differences in bid and ask prices. Corporate documents from 2019 and former executives com confirmed Zhao's tie to these companies in control of both as the end of last year. So what is he planning to do with these cryptocurrency exchanges under Binance? And there, one of them is Sing Sigma Chain AG and the other one is Merit Peak Limited. But they're, you know, considered to be market makers. But what is the real deal behind these cryptocurrency exchanges? The main concern is whether trading affiliates receive preferential treatment from the exchange in terms of access or speed according to the wall street journal this is a great thing you know we all want to have the same access we all want to have the same speed we all want to have the same you know value before we buy the cryptocurrency or stock but it's always different the more money you have you get the closer closer to the current price of the crypto or stock or any type of thing you're trying to buy and that's just how it always is but sources told the wall street journal that regulators are probing how much Binance that US disclosed to customers about its ties to the firm, and the SEC has requested information from Binance that US. See, they can only provide them information from Binance that US, by the way, again because they're not in their jurisdiction. They cannot ask Binance.com to provide them information on what's going on. This is only pertaining to the US one because this is only a US company. Quote: Market making activities are standard. That's what I keep telling you guys in both traditional firms and crypto, such as Citadel Securities or those FTX performed by Alameda Research, a business owner by FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried. They ensured liquidity and directly support a healthy, vibrant, and efficient marketplace to the beneficial end user. End quote. Basically, let me just summarize what a market maker is for you guys. A market maker is a group. Or basically, you can just keep it a simple, let me give you guys a simple definition. It can even be like a hedge fund or a group of people that have a bunch of money but and they're putting in a lot of money in there to keep the price fluid, to keep the price, again, healthy and to keep the price strong. So there won't be too much volatility, specifically in the cryptocurrency markets. We all know it's crazy volatility. It can be a thousand percent one day and it can be negative one thousand percent the next day. 
so the volatility is crazy so finance has implemented these market makers and making them their own company but they're letting them play in their own company as well so basically you have the parent which is finance.us and then what do you have you have sigma chain ag on one end and then merit peak limited so binance exchange here and then boom sigma draw like a triangle boom sigma and the merit and they're both you no know, trading and binance and that's what they're doing so that's what basically a market a maker is and a binance spokesman told coindesk in response to the report and in 2019 binance was banned and that's the reason they opened up a dot us because i remember being able to use binance Phone outperforming the United States and opened Binance.us to comply with US laws because again, crypto is not a fully regulated market. So when Binance.com came out, some states in the United States were able to get access to it. But then again, when they came to the regulatory side of it and the SEC wanted to get regulatory clarity on the exchanges, Binance had to make a specific website for the US. And then I even had to transfer my funds to the Binance.us website. And that's just how it is. But again, Binance came under increased scrutiny from financial watchdogs around the world last year including a commodity future trading commission probe into whether binance.us allowed unlawful derivative trading and that's it for today but what do you guys think let me know in the comments below see you guys on the next video i'm crypto e with ul exchange if you guys are interested in anything you guys seen or anything that has to do with crypto or financial markets subscribe to this channel with the bell notification so you can be notified every single time i drop information packed videos just like the one you're watching right now. With that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. And what is Binance up to? And what is the SEC up to trying to sue everybody on their way, specifically in the crypto market? I'll see you guys on the next video. Let me know in the comments below. God bless. Peace out.